<laughs> Samaha is really is that still going from the previous pod? <laughs> Samaha's really leveled up this pod. One yeah, of the best. That's editions. what I said to Are we on? Like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends and family, please. Yeah. Right? Please, guys. We're doing uh we're doing better. Thing, <laughs> things are growing. This has all been pro was- bono. <laughs> until a couple it months has. from now then we're going to start monetizing now yeah we should just ideas. never monetize <laughs> <laughs> that sort of fits our trajectory anyhow yeah although now, not we'll, lately who knows we get another we're at tick. 170 i know by the way we got shout outs uh Adrian Perez wants to challenge us to a wizard. St- did I, did we talk about that already? No. One of the guys in the comments. One of the guys in the comments says, yeah. "I'll fly out. I'll, I challenge any of you. You guys pick the beer." He goes, "Pick the beer. I'll beat you with the wizard staff." You got to do it then, because I. He's can't... gonna hose me, dude. And I don't know who this guy. Is. He could be like a twelve-year-old <laughs> kid that just wants like someone to buy him beer. <clears throat> Knowing us and the way we like to operate, I think maybe we should look into that. We should look at well, Adrian. You know, <laughs> like I'm that could gonna, be pretty I'm not funny. Gonna coordinate a wizard <laughs> staff off in the comments of a TikTok. Like if he wants to hit me, email me. You know, Adrian, DM us. Yeah, DM us on Instagram. We probably can't fly you out. Yeah, we can't fly out. We can't supply your beer. You're going to have to buy your own beer. I'm not going to like... Yeah. And then we have some like and idiot I... here hammered. And then I'm hammered. Yeah, you're going to end up really hammered. What is it? What is it? I would sell. I would have to do seltzer or something. I know, but though. seltzers... We need to find a beverage that would get you equally twisted up. Yeah. But isn't like alcohol. You know what I mean? Because seltzers... It would legendary... You, you could crush like 100 seltzers, dude. I don't know. It would be legendary, though, if I just did beer and just put this guy to shame. <laughs> just when, a one-off. When's the, last time, when's the last time you drank? It wouldn't matter. Three years? It just wouldn't matter. No, it's like six years ago. It wouldn't matter. I would absolutely destroy this fucking has-been. You're t- you one, drank so much in yes. your past that your tolerance is still good after six after six years of not drinking. <laughs> it's like a permanent tolerance. Well, my tolerance would be bad, but my ability to slug brewskis has gone nowhere. <laughs> I haven't improved it because I haven't been, but none of the experience is gone. I would pick up right where Start I left. Pouring beer in your pants, and the guy's like, "This guy's doing trouser haze right now." Trouser haze. <laughs> Oh, that's something. What's his name? Adrian. I will do trouser haze with him. Yeah. Because you don't drink a beer in trouser haze. No. Well, what's... <laughs> you just pour them down. You pour, pour the full thing, or is that... I thought yeah. it was just like a little splash. Well, technically, in a trouser haze, you're supposed to drink a beer and then have an additional 30 <laughs> to pour down your pants as you drink that beer. This is this is not on the internet. I'm assuming. <laughs> for trousers, <laughs> yeah, there, this has never been a trend anywhere. I didn't know what it was. So I, I decided to look it up. Pat tried to find it. Tried. There's a lot of <laughs> they gave us khaki that pants. Tried to get going and just haven't caught traction. <laughs> so many that uh, we had another comment from one of my buddies who brought up a couple of the things we've done like that what? we didn't mention. So Hollow Man and Lieutenant Dan. What's a hollow are man? Two, but those actually picked up a little steam. Hollow man is where you, you know. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> display a hollow man. Is where you place. <laughs> Look at this, dude. This over Look the head, at... <sighs> and then you go through. Oh. <laughs> your shirt. Brilliant. Hollow man. That picked up steam. And then Lieutenant Dan, you could... You, you, Does that always work? Did you actually get something? Yeah, I got a little bit on the... Sh- yeah, I got some in my mouth. Oh, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> You're going to be... Well, it depends not as on... Much, not, as, not as much uh, hamburger meat on my on my chest. Yeah. Yeah, you've been working... Uh, It depends on the fabric of your shirt. How to... See? Now it just looks like you're a little sweaty. Yeah. How often do you do that? Will you chug? Mm Mm-hmm. 
You'll do a full beer yeah. through the Hollow Man? You should do a full beer. Anyone worth their weight in salt is doing a full beer on the Hollow Man. Look up Hollow Man. Let's see if this is on the <laughs> like, interwebs. Is like, we just go through a bunch of these. I mean, a Hollow Man. Uh, does someone challenge you to a Hollow Man, or do you just say no. Hollow Man <laughs> and then you do it? <laughs> That's how or you do is it. it, or do you just do it discreetly and don't really show off at all? You just you're talking to someone, and then you Hollow Man without saying anything, and then you continue the conversation. <laughs> That's how I've seen a lot of people do it. Most often, though, you sort of announce that a Hollow Man is about to go down. You go Hollow Man, and then. And then you know, everyone does it. Well, no. Then, like, you do it, and people go, yeah! They, you know, that rips! Was, you know? Were any ladies hollow manning or no? Hollow there were woman? not a lot of ladies around. Is this <laughs> I thought you were going to say there weren't a lot of ladies doing it, but you're like, they weren't even around during <laughs> I, this. Bro, we were getting so fucked up. My buddies, we, we will joke about this uh, at the time and after. We, we were getting so blacked out and fucked up. Most of the time, the ladies just were gone. They were just do- they were gone by then. Oh, this we is were like not late getting night. late. Yeah, yeah. Or we would throw house parties where we were just partying so hard. We were being such idiots. We're soaked in beer. You guys that, are like, throwing. You guys. Are, did you guys ever do like a lock in? What's that? Where you stay like in? A, where everyone in the house, we buy a bunch of beer, a bunch of whatever, yes. you know. And you go, we're doing a lock-in tonight. No <laughs> one's allowed inside or outside. I didn't know that was called a lock-in. We w- that was Thursday night. <laughs> Wednesday night. We would just buy a ton of beers and be like, you're a puss if you bounce. Yeah. We're ripping hay hays. But also, no one's allowed in. Yeah. That was, that's... <laughs> that was the beauty of it because people wanted to come to the lock-in. You're like, you're not, this is just a house thing. Okay, and like, I see on, what you're l- saying. Let me in, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. you get into fish house, it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> we would let people Did you have come. House names? We would let people come in, but they just we would open our door. We were on right on the corner of like the two main drags. Yeah, yeah. In this campus, so like you knew when we were putting it on. Okay, <laughs> we had the fucking tunes going. We got people outside playing games. People inside getting torched. You know, you could pop in. I might. There could be a couple. There were a couple house parties on the same I really block. wish you drank. <laughs> I really <laughs> wish you drank. Dude, I Many would love people. to go to like a college, you know, and like yeah. go party. Oh, bro. Maybe like we'll figure Do out. Day like, drinking and stuff like that. We yeah, used to play beer die. Can we, all. can we talk about an idea we had before the pod? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and tell them. So, Hardy, we want to do uh, like a live pod mm-hmm. well, yeah, at okay. a frat house. Oh, that would be sick. I'm a thousand percent in. The question is, what frat would have us? You know well, what I mean? Well, we could do it at Michigan where or Santa I was. Clara. Yeah, we could yeah. do one of those. But other than we... that, yeah. and even that, I don't really have strong well, ties you... at all with those guys. <laughs> I think if you start there, the word spreads. I think <laughs> you know, I think the other frats would want that as well. If we do a good job, you know, I'm confident. We could get Chad. Yeah. I bet we could get Chad goes. My buddy, uh, you know Chad goes deep? Yeah. He went to my fraternity. Yeah. I bet we could get him on the pod, too. That would you be sick. You want to fly out to Santa Clara, dude? Done deal, dude. I would love to be on a fraternity tour with this pod. Dude, we should do it for... I mean, it's sun, it's almost summer shit. break, but we could line it up for fall. Fall tour. Yeah. I think this is what we put on TikTok, and then we spread this out, and then... Yeah, and then we tag yeah, a bunch of... Yeah, yeah fraternity. See. Yeah, if you guys want us to come to your fraternity... Yeah. <laughs> And pod about the old days and kind of give yeah, you guys, the glory school days. you a little bit on the old school. Because <laughs> I'm assuming yeah, it's yeah, gone yeah. down. I'm like, I think. <laughs> no, you and I have to talk like that. We all, uh, if we go back, we always got to talk about how how you know it's kind of fallen off. Yes. It's different now. Back when we when I was here, I mean, we were really doing it. And hey, that's nothing against you yeah. guys that are in <laughs> college right. right now. But I would assume. That our parents' generation fraternities Facts. were way crazier than ours. It's just like a, f- a fact. Yes. That you get less crazy the, the, as time goes on. No, we would talk about that. There was the, the class before us. Like, that was the big thing about our, when I was there, our class, like 2003 to 2007. Is, and I almost wanted to write something about this because we caught the tail end of the true fraternity life, but it was also on its way out. Because of, you know, justified reasons. 
but it was on its way out. So when we came in, it was the guys before us. It was already far less of a yeah of a party. Like you know, there were just less people at the parties. There were like we had problems, like like with yeah, probation. we had some problems too and stuff. Right. I th- <laughs> I don't. I think someone may have. Nah, I, shouldn't, I think someone died. There was a lot of that. There was a lot of that. There was a lot of like not some guy. We eventually got kicked off the campus because not when I was there, but my brother then pledged the same fraternity as me. So once your younger he, brother, yeah, yeah. Once he got into the house, it was a total disaster. We should talk to him about it <clears throat> because his stories are legendary. Okay, he had a guy rush the fraternity that did not go to the school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they needed money. That's the best. <laughs> yeah. How did he even catch catch wind? It, we, a guy went to like Eastern you guys, Michigan. You guys, you guys were like marketing to other colleges? <laughs> I, or did he just show up no, one day and he, he was like... He just showed up and he didn't... He was going to like a smaller school nearby that wasn't Did he get cool. in or did he just rush? He's got to get think, in. I think he might have gotten in. That's one of those things where, like, during the bidding process, people are, like, yeah. the losers of the fraternity are like, wow, this is not cool if we have yeah, someone else and right. everyone that's cool is like, we got to take this guy on. <laughs> yeah, this is the coolest go. thing ever. He doesn't go to the school. That's... <laughs> I hated the losers of my fraternity, dude. It was, such, it was so lame. Oh, yeah. We had so many lame. But you can't avoid there a couple a... lame cats. You know what did happen one? Okay, this we had this happen. Like we all wanted this one guy to get in, this yeah. guy named Jeff, and he was the man. Kind of a hippie guy, but super chill, smoked a lot of weed, always smoked you down. We were like, this guy's got to get in, right? Yeah. He's got like eight wrecks from like some of the top guys. <laughs> from some of the top okay? guys. And we're going, there's he's a shoeed. We're already partying with him every right. night. He he's, comes to the parties already. Yeah. It's he, almost like he's in the fraternity already. He lives downstairs. <laughs> yeah, He's got like, a blow-up mattress in the basement. He was. He was, like, passing out at some of the big parties, hanging out. You know, he's closing, like, fucking premium tail. Okay? <laughs> this guy, and not easy, right? Like, he's a good guy. Yeah. Some of these frat guys, are they're weird guys, so they can't even, they can't even close a decent broad, right? <laughs> you know, I'm over here so drunk. I'm No one's hanging out, right? I'm not bringing yeah. any women... I was bringing almost zero women to the fraternity. What I was doing is I was dominating the drinking game. Yeah, yeah. Right? I was the you king of the- your priorities the... straight. That's right. You go, if I win this game of beer pong, they come to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's or I get next? in trouble. <laughs> is it a couple ladies next on the table or is it uh, more dudes? <laughs> <laughs> we had a couple guys that were doing, were locking down a lot of the ladies. But this guy didn't get it. So- one idiot had like a problem with him. One older guy had a problem with him, and he he ended up not getting in. And it was just a and it was a disaster. We ended up letting in some other you know weird guy that was just like kind of a. We had a guy like dude. We had a guy that lived in the basement. Oh, these are wild stories. He got into heroin and had like a real problem. And we had to bring him up to chapter to like be like, dude, you gotta, <clears throat> you know, there was an intervention yes. during the meeting, yeah, from the whole fraternity. Yeah, was anyone kind of like against the intervention? They're like, oh, no, yeah. no, let him do what he wants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him do the heroin. <laughs> well, there was a lot of people that were like, he's downstairs, leave him alone. Was he living down there? Yeah, or he just he was... happened to like be crashing there. No, he was living down there. Yeah. Yeah. It was not a good look, so... Uh, we never had any heroin, maybe. You didn't have any... No, we didn't have any heroin. I'm assuming, not that I saw, we didn't have any heroin. Dude, and then... There was one, like... Nah, go ahead. No, and then senior year, we got a house. We, like, all... The heroin house. Yeah. We'll push them all into this one house. <laughs> not our problem now. They can still come to the parties. We need their fees. Everyone on hard drugs goes to one house. Yeah. No, we got a house, like 14 of us, that were like best buds from the frat. And uh, one night we hear some rustling outside and this guy has is running across our lawn <laughs> with our new flat screen TV. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> my buddy Rich was like, Jesus Christ, we know him. <laughs> so then, is there a guy? yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? He's gonna go sell it. Yeah, apparently he needed money. <laughs> we never locked up. And so instead of this Wait, is the best part. This guy's a senior. Yeah, I don't want to say his name. He's a good guy. I think you know, knock on wood. I think he actually cleaned up his ass. <laughs> but instead of confronting the guy, this is the best part. We all came to the conclusion that we should just uh, we just chalked it up to an L, and we just went and bought a new, new flat screen. screen. <laughs> we never even approached him. We saw him like the rest of the year. We just knew it was. It was never brought up again. No. We were just like, you know what? We're fine. We'll get another flat screen. Did he see, did he, <laughs> did, as he was running across, <laughs> did he see that you guys saw him? He was like, oh shit. And he like picks know. up his pace. I, <laughs> I don't know because I lived in the basement. <laughs> like, did he of this show house? up the next day and he's like, where did the flat screen TV go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did kind of like. It, I mean, he wasn't like, yeah, it was kind of like that because he came back. He would show up to like our parties and stuff, you know, with like a six pack of beers and be like, what's up? Oh, but he wa we wasn't hanging out with us as much. <laughs> He's like, guys, year. I brought three beers. I'm doing my part. <laughs> yeah. We were like, whoever was upstairs at the house is our, the, the new house is who saw him. So I never like saw him with my own. When you eyes. say upstairs, like a second floor, that's the ground level. Were you living on the ground level? No, basement? I was living in the basement. Oh, that's gross, man. It was. Gr you have no idea. That's bro. gross, dude. No idea. My buddy, this is a great little one. My buddy <clears throat> Rich, he lived down base. We called it all year. It was like if you came down base, you were no sissy. All right, you don't part. We don't party in the base like you do on the first or the second floor. All right. People are like nice. They karaoke up there. Oh, that's nice, right? Yeah. Down bass, it's grimy. We're freestyling. We're doing blow, right? <laughs> We're fucking ripping, all right? So down bass, my buddy lives across the hall. He's got a giant hole <clears throat> in his door. Someone had kicked a hole in his... Uh, uh -huh. So he would, like, he had a, he had a girlfriend, a longtime girlfriend, and and they got married. They're still together. My buddy Rich. That's and the best thing is that like when yeah. when there's a hole in a door, that's not even a priority to fix. <laughs> no, 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 if no. If you're in, if you're in like a frat, hat, like <laughs> there was no, there was we no... had the power out for like a full week. <laughs> you did right, something yeah, like that. Like... <laughs> <laughs> and no one decided to call anyone. Dude, what's I this, what's this girlfriend thing? Sorry, yeah. Well, real quick, I like got real shit faced our winter formal and like roundhouse kicked the heating. Unit in the What's frat, this? and we Black went Panther's officially been cut, replacing Avengers. <laughs> what is that? Oh, this, is, this is Google. This is what they discovered. Oh, okay. oh right. just like I thought you were. Up. I thought you were searching. A, I thought you were just hanging out over there. <laughs> <laughs> we got timestamps. These, these are little talking points. We got timestamps. Yeah, we got timestamps. <laughs> we got no timestamps from Samaha. <laughs> God. He would, before she would come visit, he would manscape. You know, he would shave his balls and shit. And whenever he wanted privacy, he would pop a pair of jeans in the door where the hole was. So I would always know. So I'd like come down on a Friday after class and I'd be like, oh, look at this. And I would punch out the jeans and he would just be like sitting there shaving his balls. He'd be like, what the hell? <laughs> he, could, <laughs> he could not get any privacy. <laughs> Why would you want to see this guy shaving his balls? That that I I used to call it the locker room feel. Yeah. I mean, we were there was no door on the bathroom down there. There was no shower curtain. Yeah. Oh, was there a window? Man. No, no window down there. <clears throat> yeah. You get I got there? a wild <laughs> That's how we... senior year. I actually wrote this down because it kind of leads. <laughs> yeah, it kind of leads into the concert. But I was thinking about some of my concert like stories. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you about my Miley Cyrus? I love concert Cyrus. story. In senior year of college, uh, there was a Miley Cyrus concert in Oakland, which was like an hour away from our uh, 
our for like our uh, college, and there we yeah. got a party bus, and someone like hit me up last minute, like, "Do you want to go to Miley Cyrus tonight?" We got a party bus. I'm like, "Yeah, sure." Yeah. So we go on there. And we're all boozing heavily. We're like drinking a bunch of beers, ripping shots, yeah. and stuff like that. And uh, like 45 minutes into the party bus, I really need to piss because I've been yeah. drinking a lot of beers. You know what I mean? <clears throat> of there's, course. There's no bathroom on this party bus. Really? It was insane. I was losing my <laughs> yeah. shit. You know, like when you when you really need to go to the bathroom, like your legs start shaking. It's like you start kind of like twitching a little bit. You yeah. know what I mean? Because you really need to piss. So I go to the back Especially of the party if you're bus. Drinking. And it's not by, a normal pit. Yeah. Right. In this party bus, it wasn't uh, rows. It was it was like a circle couch scenario you know what i mean oh i've done one of those okay. <clears throat> more of like a kind of a limo party bus rather than a, <laughs> a limo you know party we're high bus. class yeah 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 <clears throat> not a literal bus no so i go to the back in the way back of the party bus i go you guys need to clear out to some of my friend like you need to clear out a second and yeah. i grab some cups and I, I, need, I, yeah. I need to piss here <laughs> so i start pissing in these cups in the corner yeah and I fill up like three or four. Like this is a lot of, and I put them in the plate, the cup holders. Ew. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> That's the best part. I'm like, I'm like motioning part. to people. I'm like, one more. I need one more cup. <laughs> the best part is putting them in the cup holders. Because if you, you might as well. If you don't put them in the cup holders, yeah, you might as well fall. be peeing on the ground. <laughs> There's no reason. They're gonna fall. So I fill up a bunch, and then I, I, <laughs> I go about and then I sit by the cups now, right? Yeah. So I'm like, I can't leave these unattended. All of a sudden, <laughs> 10 minutes later, <laughs> this girl, I'm not going to say her name, this yeah. girl beelines it back to the back oh, of the party no, bus. no, no. And she goes, I need to pee. Oh, okay. And she looks at the cups. Yeah. And she grabs a cup and, ch and chugs it. Ew. Oh, she d oh, she no. doesn't know it's piss. Chugs it. But didn't she need to pee? Yes, she needed a cup to pee in. Oh, okay, got it. So she goes and she <laughs> oh, chugs shit. the piss, and me and my friend kind of dart eyes, and we're like, "Holy shit!" Uh, you know? Did she, she chugs my piss? She finishes it, and then she pulls down her pants and proceeds to piss in it. Oh, she didn't even notice. She didn't notice because I think it was like a bunch of Bud Lights, you know, Keystone, like that stuff. It doesn't like really taste like. It's just like, you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well it's like water. Piss. Yeah, I don't even. It's That's not. Funny. It's not like yellow piss. It's like clear <laughs> yeah, piss. You know, it's right. beer piss. Oh, that's and brutal. I never even told the girl. We didn't I, don't, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen. I've seen someone accidentally <clears throat> do that, but I haven't seen someone like literally. And she didn't. She wasn't even phased by it. And I don't even think we even told her. We were like, <laughs> we don't well, of tell. Course not. Yeah, you're not gonna... you just let that slide. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to. It was say the grossest that thing, dude. It was so gross. What kind of alcohol could possibly taste just like piss? That she well, made. that's what he's saying, and he, he you're not totally wrong. Like, I think if you'd been drinking alcohol for a real long time. If you drink a bunch of Keystones... You could have a watery-ass piss. Yeah, it's just clear. I've rolled over, like, when I, I've, like, passed out and, like, rolled over in my room uh, on a occasion and, like, gone for a Gatorade I've peed in and then been like, oh, fuck, you know? I've yeah. made that mistake. Uh, but I don't keep drinking it, right? Yeah. That's just... We've all been... That's Still just... chugged it, dude. Yeah. It was quick. Yeah. It, that's collateral damn. Yeah. And I used to think she... I used to have, like... I used to think she was really hot, you know? And then after yeah. that, I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Miley Cyrus the party The Miley bus. Cyrus, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I have so many. The list of, and it's good for our fraternity tour. Yeah. Maybe I'll even get. It's good get, for our TikTok. This is, all, this is all that TikTok wants. Yeah, maybe party, I'll even get a clips. couple of my boys, like a couple that tell a good rich, maybe a couple to come on, and they can regale a few because yeah, – yeah. I mean, it's never Dude, ending. We should visit. It's truly never ending. And they are in the fraternity too. They were my pledge. We were together. Yeah. We yeah. should go to. Uh, it would be sick, man. Dude, we should go to uh, University of Michigan. Yeah. And pod at your fraternity, and then have them come on and tell stories. Yeah. Then we would have some fraternity kids tell their little loser stories. Oh yeah, get them on. Yeah, we. Well, that's what would happen. We split a thirty pack between the three of us. <laughs> and then you can judge their stories. Right. There could be a winner. <clears throat> that's a good idea dude 
I feel like Barstool Sports probably already does this. No? We also would do a basketball <clears throat> co- uh, tournament. We had like a ha- little half court with a hoop. So that could be fun too. Oh, dude. We used to have Anchor Slam. This, this, uh, yeah. This sorority, Delta Gamma, used to throw on this like charity anchor slam three on three basketball yeah. tournament. And people would show up blacked out. I, sh- I showed up blacked out one time. I, was a fr- <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even in the fraternity. The fraternity knew that I wanted to like pledge or something like that. Yeah. And I was good at basketball. So they just had me on their team. Yeah. And I showed up like blacked out. I had a wig on. I had like, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. I had a headband. <laughs> And like I was just like running on the you know like I was just like running on the court when I wasn't like even playing. Faced. I was like shit faced. Like I'm pretty sure I got kicked out. I'm pretty sure they're like you need to get this freshman out of here. Ah, uh, that's so funny. We we had a similar thing where there's this tournament at Michigan called Mud Bowl, but it's but it's it's actually a pretty big deal. They had it on ESPN, the championship game. But it's like football, but there's no – you can tackle, like, receivers. There's no, like, pass interf- – there's nothing. It's like full contact wrestling football. And our house, we, like – we got pretty far. Like, we were playing well. <laughs> we, like – I was, like, tight end. I kept catching some touchdowns with my buddy Rick. Like, we were sophomores. We, like, took over the team. Uh-huh. You know, Rick was an athletic guy from Jersey. We're like we're like doing well, and then we get to like the quarterfinals or something, and we all have way too big of a party the night before, and we all show up completely torched, <laughs> no sleep, just a disaster. Still we, drinking, yes, and like everyone. So it wasn't like like some of our players were like playing well, right? We were all a, a, a just trash, yeah. and so then we just we promptly lost by like you know. Five touchdowns and that was the end of it. You ever have like shame? <laughs> and so, like, even like, though you're shame. hammered, sometimes there were like some shame, you know, because you realize you guys we were yeah. really drunk yeah, and we're we just... not even really performing right now. Like we, yeah, there, right. there's not even a game really going on. It's you're off sides funny... half the game. <laughs> you're just hanging out in the end zone. It's just <laughs> you it's need just... to get on sides. It's just funny to be <laughs> right to be a part of a team. Where it could be the case that like your best player, your like wide receiver, whatever, like your Mike Keck, you're like hopefully he does. Like I saw him last night, and he was taking keg stands at like three a.m. Last so the night? chances? Oh, oh uh, no, no, no! I'm saying like yeah, yeah, this yeah. is like what it was like <laughs> playing on the team. You're kind of looking around like. Has any did anyone see Strumwasser last night? Because he's the quarterback. You know, it's fun to be on a team where literally anyone could potentially either not show up or show up literally completely drunk. Yeah, and I bet all you guys the night before were discussing the game through, like, oh, we're gonna crush. Yeah, that's awesome. And you're like Strumwasser, don't get too fucked up tonight. We need you good, and everyone else is everyone's blacked out already. And you're like Strumwasser, put down the shot. All right, we need you for tomorrow's game. It's like everyone's blacked out right now. Yes. Tobin and I are are on the same sports team. Making my announcement now. Really? The baseball game? Softball? Softball. Dude, we got to get Hardy on that. We got to get Hardy on that. Hardy would love that, man. All right, is it a is it a comedian really? softball team? Oh, that's sweet. On Sundays, I weaseled my way on. That's sick. I don't even know Who's if the team's it? going on. Is <laughs> it? Do I? I just. Asked I don't think we can added. feel the team. I had fun playing at the basketball. With the roster we have, it means like a million comics. So hopefully, yeah. It depends. Depends who shows up. It's like Schwartz, Derek Drescher. It's like the Drescher crew, right? Right. Like, like, is Mendoza, J.C. Mendoza? I think, uh, like, Brandon. Brandon Barrera. Barrera and T.J. <coughs> Francis. Oh, yeah, okay. T.J. Francis, those guys. But we, yeah, we'll get, we'll get you on, man. <laughs> yeah, get me on. What was the last time you were on an organized team? <laughs> uh, probably, I played, like, through a buddy's corporate team. You ever play on like a corporate? I was on my company. I'm not going to say the company, explain it. but right. uh, my company. Uh, it's so big that we would yeah. have uh, a basketball league just within our company. That's how many teams oh, you could wow. field. Um, 
and there was one team that was like really good. Like one of the players on the team was like the leading scorer at like Holy Cross. Yeah, they always have a ring. They just dominate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ringer or two. Yeah. What time are we at, Samaha? I've got a good. So I went yeah, to. Yeah, would you write that? Yeah, yeah. I went to fish the past <clears throat> four nights. Saw my one yeah. hundredth fish concert last night. It's wild. And uh, I went with Choi the first night, and he had his uh, broken shoulder shoulder blade or whatever. Yeah, what's going on? I haven't spoken to him. He was playing, uh, you know, Butts Up? The Literally game where you the throw... Bat, the... You know the game Butts Up? Yeah, check it he out. He called it something else. Is that the handball game? Yeah, it's like oh my gosh. you throw the ball at the wall, and then you have to, like... I touch the wall. Up. Oh yeah, butts ass is up. up. Yeah, ass is up. Right. All right. Okay. Why in God's name? Was he was he playing. He, he was playing butts up because I guess uh, the guy he went to Canada, and he oh, was hanging right. out with yeah. like some kids, like some guys, like family, and they were playing butts up. <laughs> this is and he wild. went to run to tag the wall, and he tripped, and he fell oh, into the wall. God. And Troy's a big dude, you know what I mean. So there's a lot of momentum behind that fall. Yeah. And I guess he like broke his shoulder blade and his like clavicle or something Shit. like that. Uh, so he's on Percocet, all all sorts of drugs. Oh, so really? He came to fish with me, and he didn't know like he was. We'd been planning on it, and then he thought he was like up to snuff to go to the concert. Yeah. But then he like as we were walking over, he's like, I don't know if. I... So he just sat. Yeah. He sat the whole time. Which is fine. Yeah. We were front row behind the stage, so it was perfect to sit Oh, down. okay. I probably would have sat the whole time, too. But there was a kid. Some dad brought his, like, 10-year-old kid yeah. um, to the show, and it was his first Fish concert. Can you do that? That's kind of Yeah, you can do it, you know. But Troy looks at the kid, and he goes, fuck, we can't smoke here, you know? And I yeah. was like, you can smoke if you want to. It's a Fish concert. You do whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, that's why you can't bring your 10-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the dad's not going to be like, what are you doing? It's like, it's a Fish concert. Right. Maybe he's trying to- It's also to... a legal substance now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's trying to loosen up his 10-year-old a bit, too. You yeah. Know? Hey, come on. You're Get not smoking custom. anything, right. but you got to know about this kind of stuff, right? All right. I'd like you to experience it for the first time with yeah. me supervising. That's right. Your father, all right? You'll probably do that a little bit. Like, you probably have a son. You probably need to warm him up I might a fish show. I might throw him to my brother. I'd be like, you're going to go <laughs> to the concert with Uncle Mike or Uncle JP. Because they'll, Cause they'll, you know. <laughs> you'll get, there'll be like a little bit of trouble going on with those. Yeah, guys. yeah, yeah. You're still in good hands, but there's also not the pressure of the dad being right there. That's a legendary move. The older brother hangout or Mike, younger, yeah. Mike, just pull one one cigarette out. <laughs> T- only take a few drags. Just let him know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get him acclimated. Yeah. Don't the... don't offer him any. No. And if he and if he goes to try to get some, you slap his hand away. Absolutely. And say you're not old enough. Absolutely. But then you say, but this is a sig. Right. I want you to know what a but then, cig is. But then right? you go to the bathroom, this... <laughs> leave a cig behind, and see if he smokes it. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> there's going to be a cigarette on the ground here and a lighter. <laughs> what you do with this is none of my business. It's like there's something so funny about slowly trying to integrate. <laughs> Into unhealthy things. <laughs> yeah, or just... No, just kind of it's kind of it's kind of like the sex talk. Yeah. You kind of want to have it, you need to have these talks, but like how you do it, you know. Listen, Jimmy, I know you're 11 years old. You'll probably eventually do heroin. I'd like <laughs> you to do it with me first. Yeah. Please don't. <laughs> please you don't. You go way off the rails. <laughs> yeah. But it was just funny watch it. So uh Troy was sitting down and this kid he wasn't ready for a fish concert, you know what I mean? There's his first fish concert, so he was sitting down, and it was yeah. funny seeing the biggest human. On <laughs> Troy is like the biggest, six eight, yeah. probably I don't know how many pounds, but he's a big dude sitting next to this smaller kid. They were sitting right next to each. They other? They were sitting right next wow. to each other, s- s- seats right next, and then everyone else is standing up. It was just a funny thing, and then um, the dad. <laughs> The dad did go to like City. go to the bathroom. I was I motioned to Troy. I'm like, give him a little heavier vape pen. <laughs> <clears throat> but um, wow, that was and the first night, and then the set the the next so, three nights, I'm going solo. 
I don't have anyone to go with. Yeah, I had no idea you went, yeah. So I did a move. I think you might appreciate this move. Yeah. The way Fish runs its show, it's uh, an hour and 15-minute first set, 45-minute set break, another hour and 15-minute second set, and then encore. Okay. So you got 45 minutes in between sets where you're just kind of by yourself, you know? Oh, really? They literally stop? Yeah, yeah, they play for an hour fifteen. Oh. They take forty five. They take a set break. Go a, take your piss. Go grab some food, beers, whatever you that's need. That's such a jam band fish move. Oh yeah, and the second party set's up, a lot up dark. A little bit, smoke some. More second weed. set's real dark. It gets real intense. <laughs> that's like a yeah. So yeah. I brought. Guess what I did? So I don't have anyone to talk to during set break. Brought a book. Oh yeah, that's money. Move. I pee backed it, dude. Ah, oh, he just kicked down, pee backed it. Yeah, gr- gr- went and grabbed a beer, a water. That's a place I've actually maybe never heard of someone pee backing. It I was love that. I've never seen it, but in my head, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I got 45 minutes. I hate talk. I should be better at this, but I hate it when people <laughs> are sitting next to me and they try to chat me up during set break. Yeah. I'm like, come on, yeah. just shut the fuck up. I should up, be man. better at conversation. I but sh- I'm... No, I listen. If I'm not in the mood either, I'm not in the mood, right? Like, if I'm at the theates and some fuck shit is. Right. We're not taught, you know? Like, Cause usually, I get it. I get it. Usually, like, all they have to say, they go, dude, how about that first set? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> it was great. <laughs> what else? We all just had the best time of our lives. What is there to talk about? <laughs> just, how about that Reba first set? How about uh, that? The way you said that. How about that, that jam and possum? I'm like, yes. yes. It was a great, awesome, all time first set. Yes. We get it. We were both losing our minds that first set. We were standing right next to each other. Yeah. So I brought the pee back, and some people looked at me, and I could I hear could chatter around, being yeah. like, "Look at this guy reading during," and they go, "Oh, that's a boss move." That's what I yeah. There's this one guy I had in my back pocket. This one guy went going into the show third night, yeah. goes fantastic book. <laughs> yeah. I had him reading uh, <laughs> the five people you meet in heaven. Have you read that book? Oh, I know that book. Yeah, that's what happens. People give you yeah, and he goes. You read, I go, got to have something to do during separate. He goes, oh, I'm doing that from now on. I go, what, I'm going to waste 45 minutes of my life just sitting there looking at the yeah. crowd? It would be nice to see if in the future. Yeah. Potential set, potential fish concerts. Can you you ma- yeah, can you imagine 10 years from now everyone's reading during the set break? You know where I've always imagined? No, I've, I, I agree. I've always imagined doing that at like the Nick game. Yeah. Like if I was a celebrity and I got floor seats or I got like season tickets, which is an all time want of mine, I would pop in about 45 hour early and start violently pee backing. Yes. Before you know? the game when yeah, nothing's before, going that's on. What I'm saying go a little early, maybe even bring the paper halftime too. Yeah. Maybe for the halftime show, you put it down and watch the halftime show. You pay yep. your respects to the person spinning plates. <laughs> yeah. The dog. And then after we yeah, had the dog shitting on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always thought that would be a sick little pre-hang. You know, peeps are coming in. Oh, hey, what's going on, Bob? Yeah, new book. Yeah. Reading's getting really popular. Out I've been, of nowhere. I've been crushing books lately, Set a bookstore yesterday. Yeah, you got to... I actually got to pick back up. I, I had been crushed. I, I've been slowing down a little bit as of late. Yeah. Yeah. The key, I I, read, I heard this from the um, Stephen King book. He goes, you just have to have a book on you at all times. You yes. never know when it's going to pop in. There's a long line at the bagel place taking Boom. 20 minutes. Boom. You just can crush 10 pages right there. Well, now you're talking. Now you're peebacking. That's, yes. that's literally what I think peebacking is. The issue is. And especially in New York. There may be no better place in the world to peeback yeah. than New York City. Yes. You're it's con- the pee back and capital of the world. It is. It is. You're never driving. No, seriously. Like, if you go out to California, part of the problem there is that's why people audio book. You're not paperbacking. Right. Okay? You're driving around. No. 
New York, you're never driving. You're always on lines. You're in the subway, right? There's no reason not to pop that sucker in the back. Now, that's you're pee backing, but technically, if you, if you popped it in the jean pocket. This isn't pee backing with a tote? <laughs> I just, I just went to show off my, my yeah, tote. It's I nice went to tote. show off my tote, and you just slapped it down. <laughs> you know, I will say. Because what do you do in the pee- summer? Where's your pee back? Well, I make my joke is that actually it's right over there, but it's a notebook that I I make the joke that it's a paperback in the back. You know, the, right, the you, pee back. Right. The but, back you fold, but you have to yeah. fold the cover. How are you going to fold? How are you going to carry on mastery? Mastery is too big. You hold it under your arm. Pull up, pull out some. Grab the stack of books over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. do. We'll do a demonstration of okay. the difference. So the top book that's an easy p back, right? Yeah, this that's this almost, can fit. That's almost. A you can even light. fit in the front pocket. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, let me see it. You can that's front pocket that. That's almost a little light. I don't know how much. Um. You know. Yeah, no, I can't. Front Would you ever it. double up? Would you ever have a front pocket pee back and then a back pocket pee back rocking at the same time? Yeah, I've I I've like put one in my jacket pocket and one in my yeah. back pocket. This is the this is like perf. This is like, let me see the stack. This is like perfect here. This is your pee back, your top level pee back, right? You got to turn over. Now, I'm not a common book reader, but I think a good idea would be this is for, how the, for the big books. They should make a travel set. And just have like little books of chapters, and then you just like yeah. On the Whoa, road. what do you think about that? Yeah, get a get a book. Say it again. Just like take a big book and then make a travel set out of it. Make like little books out of the chapters. So this book. Oh, that's really smart. It's almost like volumes. Volume one, two, three of one book. Wow, that's a fucking great Guys, idea. We're going on a shark tank. Pocket sized <laughs> books. That is a great idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Peace of edit, mind. Edit that out. Edit that out. Keep that. <laughs> edit what that are you out doing finally. with this? What are you doing with the Tao De Jing? Okay. So like this or this? Give me that. Wait, what I have another book this? business this, idea. I think go. I think uh, dating app for books as well. Would be. You go with this. But the whole time your arm yes. gets a little tired. No. My arm's completely fine. I've been doing this for so many years. It's completely locked in there. It won't even move. Look at me. I could, I'm going to put. I'm gonna leave that the there for the, the rest of the podcast. And it will never even shake. I can't wait for a 90 degree day. <laughs> you go, just, you tuck. And look, I can even release. I've released the, the down part of my arm. It's not like I'm stiff like an idiot. I've released the low part and the pee back stays. Look, I can, I can look, I could read another pee back. Look, you can greet someone. Take a read that pee back and take a sip out of your LaCroix. <laughs> 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 he stumped. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, on there you side. go. No, 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 no. Here we go. All right, there you go. Done. Wow. <laughs> See, mine's already slipping. Yeah, because you really don't want to use that. If you're gonna use, you don't want to use this to grab too much, right? Right. But you can pee back now. Two. How does difficult. your arm sway? Your tombs. Di- that, that's little. that's one of the issues that I have with that. I've done yeah. that move since I've been reading a lot more. But how do you deal with your arm sway as you're walking? Do you keep your arm tight? Okay, so and this then you're is a good move. This arm? On the on the move, right? If I'm not chilling, I will probably either hold it. This is a more sitting motion. Yeah, this is a little more like in line on the subway, standing up hanging out right right if i'm moving i'll either i'll pop it out you know right. and walk with it right or i'll you know pop it into the coat but I'll, I'll 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 probably just like hold it yeah if i'm really cooking that's the thing i like about the cook coat? if you see me cooking down like right. fifth ave i've got it just in the hand and yeah. then when i hit a zone i pop and we're done. you ever throw it in the pant belt loop behind your bat on your like above your that's ass? a night listen hey I've been doing that. Love it. Bring that back. I think that's a move. You got a nice belt. Yep. You know, you're good. That's why I like about the tote, though. I can, I now yeah. can have three, but because sometimes I read two, three books at a time. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could tote. Now, when you tote, you have three books. I can read the four agreements. Yeah. I can read why we sleep, and I can read the twelve rules for life by <laughs> Jordan Peterson all at the same time. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. No, the toad. I don't get me wrong. I've had a toad. I like. A, I'm I big. Like to- a toad. I'm now vi- like vicious toad guy. Yeah, I like it. I do like a tote. And you can have multiple books. I was doing the backpack, but now I'm kind of off it again because the backpack sucks. Dude, I went to the stand dude. with these guys the other night and I go down to the green room that I didn't even necessarily realize was the green room at the time. Through I'm like, the through the kitchen? No, downstairs the downstairs where like the bar is. The yeah, downstairs yeah. Yeah, yeah. room. They have like this little like loop bar. bar. Yeah. And there were like a couple comics standing in there. Waitresses. What night is this, man? Why don't you invite me? <laughs> this is Thursday night with these guys. Oh, uh, you guys went to the stand after Gamma. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but I'm like following Schwartz in there, you know? I'm like just walking around. And then s- someone who works there, I think like manager, like literally comes right up to me. is like, you, you, you need to figure out that backpack. You must figure out that back because I'm standing in there with this giant backpack on my back and I'm like, oh, sorry. And I'm like this idiot ass hat. I got to take it off. And then I'm standing there like a schmanutz. And then I'm like, oh, not only that, now I'm broadcasting that I'm clearly not on any of the shows here. So then I just like had to like, I'm like, I'm not bringing that backpack out again. (laughs) It's I, that's why I call them backpackers. Yeah. You it's, it's an, it's an open, it's an open micer move. The yes. backpack. You yes. see pro, I know. I'm, you, I'm, you I'm, see I'm, Aaron Berg rolling around the backpack? Miller, I'm... You see I'm, Chappelle rolling around the backpack? You see any professional comedian rucking around with a backpack? No. I'm crushed about the amateur move that was. I've, I'm crushed. Here's the thing, though. I'm the back, t- though. I, I've lost it. I'm, I'm done. What's in the bag? What bag? That's why the you backpack. tote, dude. The tote... No, I'm done. I'm not bringing it out anymore. The tote is <laughs> well, close had- to the chest. <laughs> What do you carry around in it? I had, I got my two t sh- I got my three Some oranges. A- no, I got my three things for my act. I got my AMC shirt, my jean, my Hugh Jackman shirt, and, and those p- pants for if I need to hike my pants. You have, that's a prop bag. Yes, I have. I have. How did I not know this? Oh well, I mean, just in case, you know. Like I was like, <laughs> you got a prop bag, dude. Oh yeah, dude. I got <laughs> my notebook. In. I had no idea. Yeah. 19. I thought it was like food and like books and maybe no, a laptop. No, I don't fucking anything. I have a couple books. I'm, I always have a couple books, bro. You ain't never like right now. I got my uh, notebook, but I always have some. So you don't have any books. <laughs> There's a clear distinction between a notebook <laughs> and a book. I always don't try to don't try to big dog me right now. <laughs> Headphones, I'll pop in there. Sometimes a sweatshirt, but I'm over. Here's there's no no reason to talk about it because it's never happening again. Well, dude, that's why I'm saying the tote, the tote, the backpack takes up another person's space. It's unwieldy. You're not controlling it versus the tote. It's under your arm. It doesn't take up any additional space. Yeah, a tote I could see working. But I just don't want I, – I never liked carrying too much anyway. It's yeah. almost like I forgot how much I didn't necessarily want to be running around with a backpack. I got a new backpack. I love it. I've been wearing it to do other things. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'll just like rock this around. But also, then I walked all the way up to 60th Street, 59th Street to get the train after. Like I just walked up there. And I was spent because I got this giant bag on, you know? Yeah. Pound, pounds of props. <laughs> yeah. You got a kazoo in there. Dude, I mean, who knows where I'm gonna end up? So I'll probably be. I'm. I'm quite prop, you know. I actually, I did a prop a couple sh- a couple shows in a row. I'm reading. I'm reading this book, How to Be yeah. Single or like Single on Purpose. Oh yeah, we talked about that. And I brought it out on stage. Oh yeah, that's and everyone good... started laughing at me. I'm like, yeah, fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. I always bring a book out on stage. Usually, honestly. By the way, not to change topics. So my brother, my other brother, had a piece of uh, he had a complaint about oh, the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. He goes, I watched the podcast, or whatever, and then he goes, the only thing you and Hardy shake your knees too much. Yeah, we both. And I'm like, how is that? I go, that's a you problem, man. <laughs> I noticed that. Like who cares if we shake? We can't shake knees. He goes, it's a little distracting, and I'm like, that must mean our content's so bad where you're like <laughs> fixated on the knees shaking. That's fair. Maybe we need like the close up headshot, man. 
Maybe. I told. You I looked at him. I go. You some and people get. I go. You and Mike need to lay off. I go. You guys haven't done anything creative in your entire lives. Are they even subscribed? Yeah, they're subscribed. Right. <laughs> my mom. My mom used to. I would have that art like discussion with my mom. She'd be like, stop. "What knee shaking's bad?" She'd be like, "Stop shaking your knee." And is I'm it like, bad? It's like picking your nose, that type of thing, where it's just like a bad habit. I am just like I. It's uncon. Like I don't control it a lot, so it's very frustrating to be like told not to do it. Yeah. Um. Do you go to a lot of concerts or no? That's funny. Can also signal that you're bored. <laughs> <laughs> We're both just uh, bored on the pod. We're bored and trembling with fear. Dude, I'm starving, man. Um, I'm not. I like concerts. You don't go a lot. I'm not a big like. When's the last activity, concert you went to? Concert event. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a big guy. When's I'm, the last concert you went to? Um. Holy crap. Maybe I went to that concert with Choi. Oh, Tipper? Yeah, like a long time yeah. ago. What's your what's your uh protocol on balloon so. on balloons? On uh hitting balloons. You know how there's sometimes some <laughs> balloons rolling around the concert? Do you go after the balloon or do you let someone else hit it? If it came right to me, I'd hit it. Yeah. Otherwise, because I go in between on the balloon, because I'm really tall, I've got my kind of pick of the balloons that I can hit. Yeah. And so if someone's around me, they can't, you know, some girl's next to me, she's not going to be able to hit any balloons if I decide. Yeah. So I usually let them go. But this one guy at the fish concert, um, we were sitting kind of front row, so there's like, in this girl, if you're in the front row, if you want to keep the balloon going, you're supposed to hit it back into the crowd you know what i mean you uh -huh. don't hit it towards the stage because then it's just dead oh uh. and this girl next to me i let the balloon fall she hit it on the stage and a guy looked at me he goes shouldn't have let shouldn't have let her get to it <laughs> oh, <laughs> i was like what <laughs> it was the weirdest i was like you're that concerned about the balloons here yeah that's insane it was not i've never heard anyone like critique the balloon hitting at a at a concert yeah, focus on the show, buddy. Yeah. I would go to more. I would like to sit at a concert. I'd like to go to like some Vegas concerts. You know what we would like? That I would like, you know. like I, uh, We got to go see Hans Zimmer. Oh, that would be sick. That's like something I would do. Yeah. That that I would do. Um, I like, I'd rather go to like Smalls. We talked about this jazz club. I was thinking about going tonight. And hang out. Yeah. Or like the cellar, then like go to. Uh, yeah. We got to go to the cellar again sometime. Man. I know. It's got to happen. Those were all my notes. Now we're going to have to freestyle. <laughs> I had a couple notes. Look at all these books. Look at all this knowledge. These are all good. Got some residencies in Vegas here. Hans Zimmer. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Daniel Tosh. Oh, look at this. Michael Blue. Oh, Backstreet Boys. Ray Romano and David Spade. That's kind of a weird combo oh, now. Oh, I would love to see that. That was yesterday. I actually love both of them. Yeah, you're a big Ray Romano Ooh, I would guy, see Ray Romano you? is a samurai at stand-up comedy. People uh, need to, like... Just chill out. I need to re I need to rewatch legit, that special, man. Legit. He's been doing stand up comedy for something like thirty years, man. Do you watch a lot of stand up specials or no? You know, I was thinking about this the other day. I almost watch none now. I can't even bring my I could barely bring I myself feel like to I, watch uh, I feel like I need to watch more. Gerard's. I still want to watch that, but Gerard you would love Gerard Carmel. Yeah. Obviously. Like I'm it's a killer. Yeah. Like I, I It's not that funny, but it's a killer. It's like a, it's that's a right up my eye. beautiful special. That's what I heard. I heard it's like a performance. I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I, I go I like to the Buble. movies. Yeah, I would watch Buble in a second. Buble would be sick. He'd be amazing. I think he's incredible talent. Katy Perry, I would also go see. 
Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I'm Shania not a big Shania Twain. Shania Twain, dude. Eros. We just watched. Uh, me and Samad just watched a clip of uh, Shania Twain was a drop in on Harry Styles' show at Coachella. Oh, really? She That's looks. Cool. She looks really good. She's man. always looked fantastic. I had no idea. She's like. I thought she was like 80 years old now, but she <laughs> looked. No dude, idea. Shania she. Twain. She's up there, man. Yeah. Uh, that I would go to. I would go to Coachella. And she's smart and intelligent and funny, too. It's not just her looks. You know what I mean? People, so don't attack us for... No, that's all right. We're allowed to... That, man. Kidding me? Come on over. I'll come on over. <laughs> <laughs> the Twain... Shania. Shania. What, what was the, her one? Shania. Uh, what do you think man, her husband? Oh, a man. Something about a man. What, what was I feel it? like a woman. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I feel wow, like wow. a woman. What do you think her husband calls her? Shania or Sh I might Shania? Hit her, I might hit her up. DM her. Shania? I think her husband probably calls her like. Nye. I got bad news. Sweetie. Shania is not her real name. Shana, maybe, what do you mean? Uh, her, Shania is not a real name. Her born name is Eileen Regina Shania. Sha Sha Sha. He probably calls Yo. her Sha Sha. What? That totally changes things for me. Eileen. Oh, Regine. Eileen no Twain? wonder she changed it. She's Eileen Canadian, Regine. Of course. Can Canada has some of the hottest girls. Maybe. I'm calling her Eileen Regine. I would love to. I, I need. A, I need. I would love to marry a Canadian. The Regine. We should go do shows in like Toronto, dude. We should do like yeah, a baby shower tour, dude. I've done a show. You well, yeah. Uh, we could do, should you could do a tour anywhere? You did that. Well, you went around. Yeah. yeah. Robert John, hold on, go back and let's look at her previous husband. I want to see who who let go of yeah. Shania Twain. Yeah, let's check it's out Robert. These... Well, go yeah. to Robert John, who was married to her for seventeen years. Loser. Record oh, producer. Yeah. Let's see if he's married to anyone new now. Who who's he with now though? Did he get He might be a producer. Would you tell All right. Him? Spouse oh, yeah, Shania Twain. That. No, no, no new. <laughs> no. He's known for his work he's in got the a, studio. He's got a child with Shania Twain though. And this is her current husband. What's he do? Could their this guy get he's more? He's nothing. Accents? He's just Shania Twain's husband. Look how many accents are on that guy's name. He's a business person. Yeah, just collect, even... collects residuals from Shania Twain. I mean, you can't. Cool hair. You can't. Uh... Can't fault Shania for that guy. You know, he seems like he's probably pretty cool. He's good to look at at the pool. Yeah, good body. Yeah, he probably does yoga and like meditates. <laughs> probably Reads keeps her down. real grounded. <laughs> I was gonna ask this: If there was a dating Ooh, show, a usher, usher, dude. Yeah. if there was a dating app for uh, people who like books, would you guys hop on that? You could like choose the books you read. Maybe you can have like the girl can too. Similar interests. That'll be a good dating app. I like that. No, no. I'm just kidding. Well, the problem, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was All at right. a bookstore yesterday. <laughs> just that's where that around. conversation ends <laughs> just like a bookstore yesterday just letting peeps know i'm regularly at the bookstore oh i went to the javits center car show on friday that sounds so sick man i used to go to the <laughs> i used to go to the javits you center boat show with my brother all the time we would yeah. go every year what was the car who'd you go fam, with big fam trip your whole family or just your brother uh no that lives my, in the city no my brother's in vegas it was me my parents my sister and her boyfriend brian big fans of the pod oh it's such a great oh, trip, by the way man. my 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 uh brian my sister's boyfriend was destroying the car show. I've never seen a guy so on fire. Okay, I come, he ends up getting a hot dog like immediately, and I'm like, that's unreal. Okay, he's dogging I love this guy, man. Okay, then I turn around 
like also the hot dog uh, for some reason <laughs> yeah, like at like, a car show it's bro, like it's kind of gross it's but nude. it's kind of sick yeah, it's it, unbelievable. like there's a layer of grossness to that well that's what my sister's saying but i'm going you need to relax what this kind of hot, dominating what kind of hot dog gr- was it grilled or just like a, a boiled it was like a new york classic boiled, boiled dog, dog. Yeah. was there sl- like uh sauerkraut on the top or was it just i think it was just a stirred chup dog just a good dog. Oh, I want yeah, hot dogs now, dude. dude. I awesome. might go. I might go locate a hot dog. <laughs> so he crushes the dog, and then like 15 minutes later, I turn around and he's found dipping dots. And uh, I'm like, love, "That's unbelievable!" I, lo- I love this guy. And he's like, "Yeah, there's dipping." I'm like, "Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get on this. Like, you're already, you've already double fooded me, and I'm trying to find my way. I'm tired. I'm exhausted." And then I spit around like ha- like twenty minutes later, and he's gotten empanadas, <laughs> and they're I'm like he's <laughs> he goes do you want an empanada, and he goes back and gets me an empanada, and I'm like this was there's multiple layers of this that I love yeah first of all there's nothing else really else to do at the <laughs> car know, show yeah. other than really eat you know what I mean. That's the only other activity there is other than look at these cars. And B, it I don't know how he you know what I mean? Like what else is there so, to do? No, it's so true. Some people go to baseball games just to get a hot dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, I go to the movie just to get the popcorn. Yeah, sometimes. exactly. Yeah. It's a killer move. The other layer, I don't know how uh, comfortable he is with your family. Yeah. But if you're not very comfortable, it's a great escape. Very comfortable. Yeah. It's a great escape to go do whatever you want on the way and on the way back from getting food. <laughs> right, 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 right. It's little its own time little out. trip. Yeah, a yeah. little time out. Go people watch. Yup. See Facts. what's going. It's a Facts. great little escape. Facts. That's so funny, man. And he, he made this funny joke, too, that my dad, my dad's like a very, like, OCD kind of like very clean kind of like organized guy like yeah. always has been um and uh when we walked in there was like different color carpets and like I guess my dad thought you were supposed to stay off the like carpets that the cars were on so like Everyone else just like walked across this carpet and my dad like took the like border long route because <laughs> he knew he wasn't supposed to go on the, I was like, that's legendary. <laughs> that's uh, hard, man. It was fun, man. Sometimes uh, like I went to uh, me and Wong when uh, Wong was headlining in Pennsylvania. We went to a, like a uh, cow. What's a cow? Like a cow shit like where it's a bunch of animals and tractors and oh yeah like a fair, farm like kinda... a farm fair whatever yeah. that county fair county fair it was like one of the biggest county fairs like in the country yeah it's like one of the top county fairs and everyone that we were talking to before we went they're like you got to get the milkshakes yeah and we're like what they're like the milkshakes are killer and like when me and bet. peter went we really? show up at 10 o'clock there's already like a lot yeah. like hundred person line for the milkshake oh, at 10 a.m all these people like overweight it's like did the you middle go- of pennsylvania <laughs> yeah it's the first thing we got oh wait 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 this is great you just pop something in my head i have to say before we go too yeah. there was one section of the car show that was so insane okay it was all like the nice lambo yeah, what types of Ferraris. cars are these? are these old school cars or like new there was all kinds. There yeah. was like uh, campers, like new Mercedes, like campers. The camper section must have been nice. Oh, huh? we were like checking it out. We're all talking about how the we want to live on the road. I've always wanted to live on the road. You know, like these kinds. People start bringing up like fantasies <laughs> yeah. that they don't really yeah. have, but they feel like they want to bring up. It's like the fantasy form 10 minutes uh, ago. No, my dad was talking to my mom because she's like, Donna, you've never brought this up. And now you want to drive around the country, you know? He goes, I wanted to find the right opportunity <laughs> to bring this up. That's what I'm saying. And my dad recently retired. Congratulations to my Congratulations, dad. Congratulations, Mr. Hardy. Um, but I go we go into this one section and it's like all of a sudden we're in the like hot ninety seven power one oh five hip hop section. I swear to God. We go in, it's noon. There's a guy blaring like jagged edge and like old school R and B and like rap tracks. And he's emceeing and he's all like, so he's also talking. So it's like, he's like, all right, shout outs 
to the to the mid range, you know, festival. Everyone, everyone's out here getting the thing on, and you're like, dude, it's twelve fifteen. And is this a is this a, is this kind of like a separate nook of yes. a room, or is this like in the main? No, it's in a like a full a separate. Yeah, yeah. R- main. What kind area of cars are around in this room? All the like sick. Rolls Royces, Lamborghinis, yeah. Ferraris. Were there any hydraulic cars going? Yes, there was like other, but like that's like he was trying you know to like I mean? set the vibe. Dude. And he's going, I'm looking up at this guy. This guy, it felt like he got booked for the wrong event. I was like, he's supposed to be at he's a barbecue to his in buddies. Queens. I'm like, I'm at the, I'm at the <laughs> yes. Javits Center tomorrow at <laughs> noon for the. And his buddy's <laughs> like, oh, it's a rough gig, man. That's what it felt like. Being comics, I felt his pain. I'm like, who's telling this guy he needs to be on the mic at yeah. noon at a car show? Yeah. No one's drinking. No one's doing any of that. Like, he was blaring it like it was a club. Would you ever be a hydraulic guy or no? God, with a car? Yes, yes. Let me tell you something right now. If I get $5 million, dude. No, my dream card is an Impala, like a 66 or 67, all black cruiser impala the like dre kind of whip yeah top no no top right convertible unbelievable system two ten inch two ten inch subwoofers what is that jeez and uh you can't even see anything (laughs) that's legendary are we good yeah, and they uh and I would put hydraulics in it. I would definitely. 